Let's look at this picture. Why are the edges of adjacent blocks more prominent? Maybe for you, that's taken for granted. There's no need to think about why. If you look closely at the picture above, you will feel darker or brighter at the edges of adjacent color blocks. If you still can't feel it, let's look at this picture again. This illusion is called its magband effect. Let's mark four points on this picture, A, B, C, D. From a physical point of view, the brightness of point A and point B is the same, and the brightness of point C and point D is the same. But from a perception point of view, the position of point B is darker than that of point A, and the position of point C is brighter than that of point D. Actually, this is an illusion. Next, let me explain the cause of this illusion in terms of neurological mechanisms. In this picture, the left block is brighter than the right one. The block on the left produces high-intensity stimuli, and the block on the right produces low-intensity stimuli. The four receptors receive light stimulation from four locations of A, B, C, D. The response values of the receptor A and B are all 100. The response values of the receptor C and D are all 20. But similar neurons inhibit each other, which is called its lateral inhibition. When each receptor cell is inhibited, the response value decreases. Assuming that lateral inhibition of A and B reduces the response value of adjacent neurons by 10, lateral inhibition of C and D reduces the response value of adjacent neurons by 2, since neurons B is adjacent to A and C. The final response value of neurons B is 18.8. Neuron C is adjacent to B and D. The final response value of neurons D is 8. 188 8 and 8 are different response values. So perceptually, B and C are different brightness.